Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. Today I want to continue the Archie Luxury story. And uh, anyhow, after I uh, shitted enough people off at emergency services, I then, I then that gig, which I extended from about uh, six months to about a year, it ended. I mean, they don't like... Let's be honest there. In government, they don't like you turning up in an Alfa Romeo. It just, you know, it's just not not the cut. And I remember one time, I normally never fucking took the car to work. And uh, cause I didn't want to leave the fucking thing in the sun. But one day, I had to get what the, the, the back window, the tinting was, was, wasn't perfect. So I had to get that fixed. And I took the car in to get the, the, the tinting fixed. And uh, sure enough... My fucking boss, Bert Stenson, he cut, he, he, I had my, my fucking, my key on the table. And he goes, oh, do, do you have an Alfa Romeo? And I, oh, oh, fuck. No, that's the wife's. But you know, I, I was busted. I was busted. And, uh, you know, what do you fucking say? What do you fucking say? And, uh. That's that's the whole thing there. It's pretty fucking nasty shit. What do you say? And uh, yeah, they don't, they don't like you to have Alfa Romeos. I remember, I remember this fuckhead. Michael King was his name. Absolute dick dickwad. And uh, he was he was talking to my friend Edwin, and he, they're talking about Hyundai's. And uh, yeah, trying to argue who got the better deal on their Hyundai. And uh, I said, oh, don't worry about that. There's a nicer cars out there. And they said, oh, what do you have? And I said, an Alfa Romeo. And, uh, you know, that's just how it is. There are cool fuckers and there are fucking turds. And Archie is a very cool fucker. And uh, after that job, after I pissed enough people off there, I, uh, I sort of got the sack. And uh, yeah, it's just how the, the government works. They, they just decided not to renew my contract. And... I sort of went into a few other things there, and uh, I got another government contract with uh, education. Fuck me dead. That was one of the worst, worst fucking, that was like death. I mean, I remember I, I, I was employed. No one advised me how to help or, or what to do. I had this woman, Tanya, Tanya in education, and she was a very nasty little bitch. Nasty! And she wouldn't show me how I had to fix these things. And she was always so busy. Oh, I'm so busy. Oh, 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 oh. And fuck. And, and, you know, I just got bored out of my brains. I tried to help customers as I could. And the only ways I, I could ease the fucking pain was from doing surfing. And I think I was caught surfing a bit too much, you know. But, uh, yeah, that, that was a fucking death roll. And, uh... I, I hated them and they hated me. I remember they, uh, I was supposed to have another week or two left and the agency rang me and said, oh, you're, we believe you're leaving today. And I said, oh, was I? I thought I had until the end of this month. They said, oh, no, it, the way they did your contract, it's so many hours which you've fulfilled, therefore it's now ending. I thought, okay, see you later. And uh, these government fuckers, they, they held a little going away party and I just said, look, just let me fuck off early. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to fucking sit there and, and and just listen to your shit. Just let me fuck off early, and uh, I'm out of here. And uh, you know, I, I kind of look. I, I've had roles where I've worked really hard, and I've had roles where I've fucking stank. <laughs> and uh, you got to be truthful. You know, I remember one role. I was working for PNO. PNO Kate. What was it? PNO. Oh, it was part of their cleaning division. Okay, spotless, spotless. That's right, spotless. And I, I knew, I knew things were fucked. It was pretty shit, and I was trying to do the best I can, and I, I just was shit. And uh, they, they said to me, "Oh, we're not that happy with your performance." They said, "We want you to go <clears throat> end of the week." I said, "Look, I had my agency on the phone. I said, look, let me go now. When I hang the phone up, I want to get the fuck out of here." I don't want to pretend to three for three days that everyone likes me and it's all cool. I want to get the fuck. As I'm talking to you now, I am cleaning up my desk. I will hand the keys to the boss and I don't fucking want to come back. So uh, I'd like you to wrap it up immediately. And uh, 
that, that's the best way to get out of it. If you're not happy and they don't like you and you stink, just bring it to a head quickly. Don't fuck around. I didn't want to come back for three days and say, oh, how are you going? How's all? Pretend and this and that. I just want to get the fuck out of there. It wasn't for me. It stank. And uh, that's cool. Hey, hey, you know, the, the problem with that spotless role was they never trained me and uh, they had a lot of shit systems you had to dial in. I was using dial in. Who the fuck uses dial in to fucking handle a remote support? And it was just fucked. Absolutely fucked. And uh, yeah, I had some good contracts too. I had a really good contract for a long time with KBR. That's when I actually liked those fuckers. And. Uh, you know, this is, this is the thing. Sometimes in life, it's not all just positive positives. Sometimes you get a role that sucks, it stinks, you really stink, and you don't apply yourself, and hey, that's just how fucking life goes, Baba. That's, that's, that's how it goes there. It's, it's just how it goes. And uh, you got to make the best of what, what you're given in life. And I've had roles where they really loved me, and I've had other roles where I stank. And, uh, you know, when you get a bit of experience, you know when you stink and you know when you're good. I'm Archie Luxury, and this has been another Archie Luxury life story uh, confession. Tell me what you fuckers think. See you later.